With Everton 3-0 down to Manchester City at Goodison Park last Sunday, Sean Dyche initiated a major tactical reshuffle, but the Blues boss is unlikely to want to repeat the trick when his side go to Wolverhampton Wanderers on Saturday. As Everton looks to implement some damage limitations, Dyche brought on Connor Cody as a third centre-back, but he won't be doing the same at Marnu as the unknown player is ineligible against his parent club. The Blues are likely to set up with what has been Dyche's preferred formation since first taking charge by going 4 5 1, but still a couple of significant dilemmas in terms of personnel for the fixture that could go a long way in shaping whether or not the visitors are able to avoid what will be their first relegation in 72 years. Firstly, Everton's biggest concern will be over whether Dominic Calvert Lewin is able to spearhead the attack for a sixth consecutive start, although his only goal since returning to the side at Crystal Palace on April 22nd has come for the penalty spot at Leicester City, the Blues centre forward has brought a much clearer focal point to the front line. The 26-year-old was withdrawn a half-time against City last time out with Dyche admitting he had to make a call over the player's tight groin, but Evertonians will be praying their number nine is fit to retain his place in the West Midlands. If he isn't, then the likes of Neil Mopé, Demarie Gray or Ellis Sims could come in to replace him. In contrast, the Blues will surely be looking to make a change at left back. Playing out of position in that role, Mason Holgate was handing his second start under Dyche against City, but like when he was picked at right back at Selhurst Park and was sent off for two bullpens, the auction failed to finish the game. After another testing afternoon, Holgate was substituted on 56 minutes, so Everton must hope that Vitaly Mikhailenko is fit to retain while Ben Godfrey, who is also sidelined, has experience in the role. Like Holgate, Godfrey's preferred role is at centre-back, but even with Cody ineligible, Everton have plenty of options there, with James Dukowski and Yerimina now the incumbent pair, and despite being criticised by Pep Guardiola for what the Manchester City manager described as unnecessary behaviour, Mina is likely to keep his place. There's also competition for places in central midfield, with James Garner having started the last three matches alongside Gay and Decore. After initially dropping to the bench at Leicester City because of a stomach ball, Abadou and Nana has been used as a substitute for the past two games, but it remains to be seen whether the £33.5 million signing can force his way back into the record. Now, what do you think of the players that Sean Dyche can rely on to put in the performance and hopefully see Everton pick up a priceless three points against Wolves this Saturday? 